Are you ready to laugh? You ready to rock? Let me hear you say rock, rock, laughing stock. Rock, rock, laughing stock. Uh, quickly, let me explain to you how this is going to uh, work. We're going to have actors come out and do different uh, games and sketches based on you, the audience, your suggestions. Uh, we're going to have two people who are actually just going to be one person. One person is the body. The other person is the hands of that body. Yeah, what's up, what's up? Yeah, boy, I'm going to empty you your garbage. I'm going to put your dreams in the garbage. Your dreams. Dreams. Dreams? Dreams? Uh, excuse me, here's, uh, I believe it's collection day, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here. What? Huh? Yes, it is! <laughs> yes, it's collection day! Uh, you want a piece of this, huh? No, are you, I... Are you fronting this, huh? No, I, I just was bringing my garbage out. Yeah, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Uh, uh, no, I ain't gonna hit you, okay. I ain't gonna hit you. This is recycled and split up, I can tell. <laughs> you. Me. Okay, mm -hmm. let's, come here, come here, come here, come here. Look what you had, oh my gosh! This is great, this is great! Wow! I, I don't know if you should, oh, oh. You had pizza? And you never called? Hey, Pete. Hey, garbage guy. Want to come over and have some pizza? Sure, but you go. No, I don't. I'm not going to share my pizza. Well, I, oh, come, 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 come here. Come here. Oh. No, it's okay. Come here. <laughs> Next time you'll call, won't you? Oh, let's see what else you got in here. What other kind of parties? Napkins. Napkins. Cause... Oh, man. I've worked up a sweat! Nobody cares what I do. <laughs> Look, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I, I think there's still some pizza. There's beep, some, beep, beep. Back it up, back it some, up. There's still some old pizza here. What? I think it's a little stale. Are you, me? That's for... You, It is illegal to be a Chia Pet in this part of town. So we've got, of course, the Chia Pet police that are now on the prowl because they've gotten word that there may be some illegal Chia Pets residing here. Hey, Lou, check it out. I'm getting a patch coming in on my shoulder. Sweet. I'm still waiting for my seeds to germinate. Oh. Boy. It's an exciting time, don't you think? Yes. I never thought I'd live to see the day where Chia pets living in suburbia would be as accepted as they are. Yes. If only the Chia Gestapo doesn't find out. <laughs> Boy, that would be just horrible, wouldn't it? Yes. Well, I guess they aren't coming. S <laughs> sweet. <laughs> oh, no, I'm molting. <laughs> Oh, man, it must be the humidity. It's affecting the levels of moisture in the little seed pod they scrape on you. I'm just stalling for time now. But well, you, you never would have known with your technical wizardry of chia pets. You bet your haste. Sprout on over there and change the channel, will you? <laughs> man, I wish chia pets could use remotes. <laughs> uh, uh oh. oh. <clears throat> I'll get it. Here, I'll, I'll hide this. Good idea. Open up! Uh oh. We know you're in there! <laughs> Hi, that's right. You better let us in. Oh, no, it's the Irish Chia Pet Gestapo. Ah. <laughs> They're the worst kind. Quickly, hide all Chia-related stuff. Good job. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. How are you? And what took you so long to answer in the door? Ah. We didn't want, to, we didn't want you to slip on the mud on the floor. Hmm, very thoughtful of you. But uh, I understand... Uh, that there's some Chia Pets living in this here uh, neighborhood. What? <laughs> no, it's true. true. Tosh be gosh it is. <laughs> uh, you must be mistaken. We don't tolerate them Chia heads here. Yes, we're severely anti-Chia. Why, look at my friend. He's balding. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed you are. Oh, is he balding? 
Or is it growing? That's my question. Now, I've got a little knife here. I'd like to <laughs> spread it on your head a little bit. <laughs> you, uh, How does that, does that make you feel nervous at well, all? No, I, I ain't shaved. Oh, that a little water. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! You are a chia! Ah! No, I, I just have really hyperactive moose. At some point during the scene, I'm going to yell freeze. When I do so, the actors will freeze into whatever positions they are in. Two other actors who aren't paying attention to the scene will come and take their place and start an entirely new scene using these positions. Oh man, I'm so gonna overhand smash you. Whatever, dude. A, B, up, down, up, down, left, right, A, B, B, A, select, start. Ha ha! I am the tennis champion of the living room! Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a bear! <laughs> I have a football. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I didn't know. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Freeze! Yeah, rock on! Dude, don't get in the fetal position! Get up! Yeah! Find a happy place! I don't know why you have to take your six-year-old son to Metallica concerts! <laughs> You're gonna love it! Enter Sandman! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby! Freeze! <laughs> no, I didn't look at Like hell you did! No. Logan, it was me. Are we gonna see that replay, please, in slow motion? Let's I hate you. Let's get the now the actors. We're back in what position again? Oh, okay, I guess that's. Go. It. All right, good. I want six popsicles <laughs> and fourteen gumballs <laughs> and. And I want you to carry me to bed and read me stories. You know what you're gonna get? Liposuction. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put you to bed now, okay? Okay. All right, here you go. That's just. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, I got the new concrete pillows. I hope you like them. There you go. Please. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Can we see a replay? <laughs> oh, a beached whale. Let me help you back into the ocean. Uh, Almost there. Could you maybe? I, I am a big. I am just a big fat guy. <laughs> well, I hope you can swim, big fat guy. I, uh, goodbye. No, you don't understand. I'm diabetic. Please, Freeze. I need my sugar. <laughs> My belt is stuck, for crying out loud. Man, huh. man, you're new at this suicide thing, ain't I you? I am. <laughs> All right, here, let me, let me just get your belt. <laughs> ah! oh, Dude, you jumped off a six foot. It's not even just six inches, for crying out I loud. I told you I was new at this. <laughs> Come, All right, fine, here, stand up. We'll do it together. All right. All right. But look, uh, let's, let's move over here where there's at least 18 inches. Ooh. All right. Ready? One, seven. Freeze! Can <laughs> 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 <That> I try? <laughs> these pieces of paper. They'll be spread out throughout the stage. The actors will reach down at various times, pick them up, read them as if it was going to be the very next thing they meant to say to you. Hey, Ted. 
Hey, Phil, what's up? Oh, not much. Just came by to let you share the liver this week. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, and hold on, I'm done with the third kidney. Sweet. There you go. Man, I tell you, this sharing of organs sure has brought us closer. Yes. And you know, ever since we've been separated, we haven't spent as much time together, I have to say. Yeah, w odd how that is. But yes. always when we're apart, we're sometimes together. Yes. At least <laughs> as far as the liver's concerned. Yeah. And parts of our DNA. Yeah. Well, those too, but they really don't count, because they don't spell anything. <laughs> yes, but I, I remember the day when we were separated, when right after, when I won the lottery. <laughs> And you couldn't have any of the money because you were no longer technically me. Uh, I have no regrets. I love being a dishwasher. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, I remember when the reporter came and asked you what that you felt about it, and you looked at that reporter and you said, I shall rip your eyes out and spit on your brain. See, you still have that overactive spit gland. <laughs> Yeah, you forgot that it would have been me who could spit on his brain. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, if only I had a spit gland, I could have spit on that reporter's brain. But, but Phil, I have to say, with all the wealth and money and cars and women and houses and yachts, I'm still not truly happy. <laughs> what a coincidence. I have none of that, and I'm miserable. <laughs> you know, Phil, I've been looking into it, and there is an operation where we can be put back together. Really? Because that would be fantastic, because this zipper's starting to chafe. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I can make you look like Julia Roberts. It would involve cutting off your head and replacing it with Julia Roberts' head. <laughs> because we're going to use some of your occupations, audience, and we're going to turn them into the latest dance craze. Dave, you got something with the beat? Here we go! Here we go! Come on! Here we go! <laughs> a dead superhero that we are mourning today that we are going to have a eulogy over <clears throat> I, uh, I know a lot of people have things they'd like to say so I'll be brief <laughs> my name is Parley Jefferson I was uh, underwear boys boss he was a reporter not many of you know this I can't believe I couldn't tell that this young reporter, every time that he would take off all of his clothes and gallivant around the city in his underwear, that that was really him. It was such a clever disguise to... Well, actually, no disguise. But I think everyone was just too distracted to pay attention to his face. He was an excellent crime fighter. They say he learned to fight from a boxer. We're all sad to see him go. And now there's a crime streak that can't be wiped out. The live actor loves live theater, just hates live actors. So he keeps a couple of dead bodies in his basement so that he can use them to fulfill his acting needs. Oh. What do you think, Master? I mean... <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Master!
I seem better. <laughs> Oh, you think you are something, huh? Why did you come fight me? <laughs> okay. I would like to start out by <laughs> expressing my gratitude to this fine young boy this boy changed my life yes it was awful nice of the penal system to let me come out and <laughs> speak a few words but we're gonna do this scene and it's various times through the scene uh, I'm gonna yell freeze and when I do so what was just said will be now become the title of the song to which the actors are going to have to sing that's what I came for I I seem to have a numbing sensation in my gums yes well let's take a look add the light close your eyes you fool <laughs> open wide doctor doctor he seems to have gingivitis <gasps> Gingivitis. Freeze! You suck. <laughs> well, I've heard of diseases from all across the world. I've heard of diseases, they're all unfurled, and now I'm here. I'm here. Well, I've seen through my time low white blood count. Now I've got to be in the doctor. He's out, maybe. I've got a disease inside us. Gingivitis. Gingivitis. Well, I've seen the pictures, seen the propaganda with the pictures of the teeth falling out your gums. I've seen the pictures, heard the propaganda, and I don't think that I should be the one. I don't want no disease inside us. I can handle the gingivitis. I can handle the gingivitis. Cure me, please. Cure me, please. Cure me, please. Many of you may be surprised to see me. I was Underwear Boy's arch nemesis for many years. They call me the Cyclops. And I've seen it all. I have never seen a man more devoted than this man here. Many of you may not know that we knew each other in the army. We were commandos. But he found this life a little too free. And chose a more constricting lifestyle. Protecting those who shied away and turned their faces. I can only use the word amazed at the variety of gadgets he had in that pouch.
the Off-Broadway Theater tonight's show of Laughing Stock. For you viewing audience at home, it's Laughing Stock TV. For you, those of you are, that are here for the very first time, uh, let's hear it from your cheers and scream and applause. <laughs> first time? Very nice. You're going to need to calm down right now. You know what, Logan? Girl. Come on up here. We, you know, we haven't seen nearly enough I, of you. I was the guy yeah. on the way to the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell the audience a little bit about you and why you will, I mean, why you don't date. Not that you won't ever. I mean, it's just why you don't. I mean, it's political I, reasons, I right? collect Transformers. <laughs> yeah. So it's a self-imposed exile, really. Yeah. How many do you have? Estimated. Well, I don't know, about two or three hundred. <laughs> hey, are there any oh, girls wow. out there that think Transformers are hot? Go get them! Now, is there any one of those who happened not to be Logan's family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want you to, why don't you bend on over there? I say bend over. Okay. Uh, if you're not a cheer, you wouldn't mind removing your shirt then, would you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thinking of dead people! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. A couple of our actors have uh, conveniently died for us, which is going to make it real convenient for our next game here of dead. <laughs> <laughs> Russ, I believe you were just fluffed. <laughs> Cameraman, can you kind of zoom in on this? Here we go. It's real garbage, real garbage, folks. Yeah, real garbage. yeah we don't play any of that pretend crap here. Nah. This is Improv X. <laughs> <laughs>